Hi, what's up? Welcome to another Gigi Han video. How are you doing guys? Have you restarted your work yet? So we are now heading into a new normal era where everyone is strongly encouraged to wear face masks in their daily lives. For us dentists, as well as medical frontliners, face masks are becoming increasingly important for us to minimize the risk of COVID virus as well as other contaminants coming from bodily fluids and blood. Most of the face masks that are on the market right now are mostly imported from China. But do you know that there are different grades of face masks? Chinese face mask standards are particularly confusing because they do not follow an intuitive grading like level 1, level 2 and level 3 unlike the standards from other countries like the USA or the European Union. Today I will show you all the common Chinese face mask standards to lessen your confusion. These are the common standards of Chinese face mask. Doesn't make any logical sense, right? No worries then, let me break it down for you. Firstly, there are four annotations of the standards that you need to know. The first one, GB, stands for Guo Jia Biao Chun, which means mandatory national standards. Items produced must meet the stated standard. Number two, YY or Yi Yao, which means mandatory professional medical standard. Items produced must meet the stated standard. The annotation T stands for Tui Jian or recommended, which means the standard is suggested but it is not compulsory for a manufacturer to adhere to it. So generally, a standard without the annotation T is of a higher standard compared to a standard with a T. The last four digits denotes the year which the standards were established. This is not of our concern and we can omit that when we are reading the standards. In the next diagram, I will show you a summary of different face mask standards and it will be clear for you to know which type of face mask you should choose for your applications. The first two standards highlighted in blue, which are daily protective masks, 日常防护型口罩, 32610 standard, and respirator mask, 防克利物呼吸器, 2626 standard, and they look like this. They are considered as daily or industrial masks or respirators. They may have good particle filtering efficiency, PFE, but they are not tested for bacteria filtration efficiency, BFE. Please note that 32610 daily protective masks are specifically stated, not applicable for medical usage. There is no such statement for 2626 respirators, so non frontliners clinicians may opt for 2626 standard respirators if highest standard 19083 respirators are not available. The 0969 single-use medical masks are the cheapest and they are suitable for general public to wear to reduce risk of getting infected when they are out in public for essential errands like buying groceries or food or for general workers like for example bank teller, grab car or uber driver or restaurant waiter. For my fellow dental and medical colleagues, 0469 should be the absolute minimum especially for us dentists who deal with large amount of aerosols in our day-to-day -day practice. If possible, I would highly recommend the highest standard 19083 or 2626 which have the equivalent standard as N95 respirators. For frontliners who have to be on duty in the isolation wards, swapping stations or dealing with confirmed or suspected COVID cases, 19083 should be mandatory. There should be no confusion there. This video took me about a week to make, including all this facts checking across a dozen of Chinese sources to make sure I'm passing on the correct information, and also because I'm just simply a total noob in video making. Consider giving me a like and follow my page Gigi Han if you think this is informative so far. If you have come this far and you are still interested to know more about all these standards that we spoke about just now in more detail, please watch on and let me bore you to death. Let's first explain the first two standards suitable for day-to-day -day usage, air pollution usage or industrial usage. 
The table below shows the differences between these two standards. The first standard is daily protective mask, Rizhang Fang Xing Kou Chao, with the operational standard code 32610. The second standard being respirator mask, Fang Ke Li Wu Hu Xi Xi, with the operational standard code of 2626. They are both stereoscopic, cup shaped, and with good coverage. They both have good particle filtering efficiency, PFE, ranging from 90% to close to 100% depending on the level of the standard. They are tested with NACL aerosol, which qualify them for KN standard, or they are tested with oily particles, which qualify them for KP standard. KP standard is not really relevant for infection prevention applications, and they are more applicable to be resistant to solvents, pesticides, soot or smoke from petroleum or coal. Both 32610 and 2626 are for daily usage, polluted air usage and for labour protection in an ordinary working environment. The difference being 32610 standard specifically states that it is not applicable for medical usage while there is no such statement given for 2626 standards. Next table shows the common standards for medical face masks and their respective applications from the lowest to the highest level of protection. Let's first talk about the first two levels of medical face masks. The first level is single-use medical face mask, 一次性使用医用口罩, which has the operational standard code of 0969. The second level is medical surgical mask, 医用外科口罩, which has the operational standard code of 0469. So what are the similarities between these two levels? They look the same, and it is virtually impossible to tell them apart just by looking at them, and you have to look at their operational standard code number to tell them apart. They are both flat with average coverage, and they both have bacteria filtering efficiency, BFE, at 95% or greater. The differences being 0469 standard has particle filtering efficiency, PFE, or at least 3% or greater, while 0969 standard does not test for it. 0469 standard also test for synthetic blood resistance where 2 ml of synthetic blood is sprayed onto the mask at the pressure of 120 mmHg and there should be no penetration on the other side of the mask while 0969 standard does not require that. 0969 standard is suitable for ordinary medical environment blocking pollutants exhaled from mouth and nose while 0469 standard is suitable for clinical invasive procedures which involve aerosols, bodily fluids and blood. They are also commonly used in operating theatres. The highest level is medical protective respirator, Yi Yong Fang Hu Kou Chao, which has the operational standard code of 19083. They are stereoscopic, cup shaped and with good coverage. They have particle filtering efficiency, PFE of 95 to almost 100% depending on levels and they are tested to be resistant to at least 80 mmHg of blood splatter. They are used in high-risk exposure medical working environments with aerosols, bodily fluids and blood, also known as frontliners. I guess that is all we need to know regarding Chinese face mask standard. I hope after watching this video, you will be clear to choose what is the most suitable type of face mask for your situation and application. If you wish to view the infographics again, I will link them on my Gigi Han Facebook page. Please click into my page and follow Gigi Han if you would like to clarify all these different standards. You may ask me this, Dr. Han, there are many online sellers that sell 3-ply surgical masks without any certification printed on the boxes. Are they totally useless? Well, that is a topic for another video. Follow Gigi Han to get notified when we talk about this in our next video. See ya! Bye!